creepy stuff right here. Creepy stuff. Very dark and ghoulish. I can't take it, man. I gotta fade this out or I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. It didn't sound like a... That sounded like one of those R-rated uh, haunted houses. Not like PG-13 family friendly fun for all the kids. <laughs> that sounded like a haunted house where you can where you go into and uh, you might lose your life. That background music is very dark. But it leads into what I'm talking about here. Terry Daniel here, voice actor and coach from beautiful Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, it's about 7.15 in the morning here. And I wanted to talk to you today about, you know, Halloween is just around the corner. But, uh, well, at least, you know, about a month or so off. And I want to talk about Halloween promotional ideas for voice actors. Some, uh, oh, don't you, don't you just love it when uh, bloggers and trainers use insider secrets? I hate that phrase, insider secrets. This isn't really a secret, but something that I do um, right around any kind of holiday promotion, really. So what I do for Halloween, this is interesting because I've done a, a few different things in the past. Like I'll, I'll put together like a postcard campaign where I'll send it to Halloween stores that sell costumes and Halloween type stuff, you know, telling them that I'm a voice actor and I can do a ghoulish commercial, even in-house for their store, even if they're a small shop and they're obviously probably not going to spend the money on doing a big commercial campaign through an advertising agency. Well, how about using my recording in the store? You know, 150, 200 bucks. That might work. And it has. So, uh, you know, a postcard campaign targeting Halloween shops and different, you know, maybe you could, you could look up, there's always lists in Minneapolis. We have a, uh, a paper called City Pages, where you go in there and you can see like where all the concerts, where all the art festivals, where all that kind of stuff is going on. And uh, during, you know, holidays, they, they, they'll tell you what's going on. Like like for Halloween, where all the, the haunted houses are, haunted hay rides, any kind of ghoulish, spooky event, they turn Valley Fair, which is an amusement park in the Twin Cities. They turn that into... Uh, Oh, my God. Oh, Valley Scare. Very clever. Um, so these are different places that you could not only send a postcard, but that you could promote to saying, hey, I'm a voice actor. I can do a scary voiceover for whatever you need. Even your on hold message. Not a bad idea. So that's one way of doing it. And another way of doing it is, you know, utilizing YouTube and sticking videos. You know, you can get royalty-free video footage from Pond5.com. That's Pond, the number 5.com. And basically, you could purchase one of those looping videos where it just shows like a skeleton dancing around in a circle for a minute <laughs> or, or some type of haunted house. And then you could do a voiceover right over it, add some spooky music, and that can be your, your uh, self-promoted commercial for doing Halloween stuff. For not only stores, but haunted houses and hay rides and haunted parades. And that's a way to get that out there. You could tweet that out there, put it on Facebook. Why am I giving away all my ideas? Well, because I care about you, damn it. And uh, those are just a few things for Halloween promotional ideas. You know, this isn't just Halloween. You know, Christmas, when that comes around, any type of holiday, maybe like a couple months before, you should start putting this stuff together. You know, on YouTube. Facebook is obviously, you know, social media is obviously a huge uh, marketing tool these days. It's not just for political piss matches. Oh, God, does that get old? Thank God for the hide button, right? And the unfollow button. <laughs> My favorite button on Facebook. Of course, I can't even imagine how many people have probably unfollowed me. But I hope you haven't unfollowed this particular podcast because... I like to, you know, share my ideas and, and what's worked with me as a voice actor in the past and uh, that kind of thing. So those are just a few Halloween promotional ideas for voice actors. And now is the time to do it because, you know, summer is coming to an end. I think officially fall starts, I believe, this week or next week. And uh, the pumpkins are out. The scary masks. Target's uh, Halloween section is uh, basically takes up half the store. 
And these are just some things that you can uh, come up with. You know, and let, let me get back to on hold message uh, on hold messages just for a second, because if it's a small like little shop that sells like Halloween costumes, you know, they're going to need an on hold message or when they close, you know, I mean, obviously they're going to have to have some type of a, of a prompt or, or message there. And why not have a spooky commercial on their on hold message? You know, instead of just the person that works the cashier, you know, it would probably be easy for the owner or the manager to say, hey, just, you know, hey, Bob, you just do it. Just leave a leave a voicemail. Try to do a ghoulish laugh at the end. And that would end up being embarrassing for them. So why not pay you 100 100 to $150 to do the in-store promotion? And a lot of these stores can run it through a little PA. You know, you walk into department stores all the time and there's promotions coming through the speakers constantly. You could be that voice. So uh, some good ideas there. Now, I want to uh, talk to you just real briefly about our next free voiceover webinar. Uh, some of you have uh, asked me about this. A lot of people have loved these webinars. It's called VO Test Drive Series. We talk about something different in every webinar, and we're going to be doing another one next Thursday evening. What the hell date is that anyway? That would be the 28th, September 28th at 6 p.m. Central Time. And you have to join our Facebook group to have access to this webinar. And it's really easy. I actually put the link right in the uh, right below the, the podcast here. But if you're listening to this on iHeartRadio or iTunes, I'll just give it to you. It is VoiceOver Camp on Facebook. It's a free face, uh, Facebook group. And you can find it facebook.com slash groups slash voiceover camp and send me a request and I will let you in. And inside the group, there's all kinds of information on our next voiceover webinar, which is entitled VO Test Drive 3, Third Gear Getting Work With Your Demos. You can see it in the little group event tab there. So again, the URL is facebook.com slash groups slash voiceover camp. We'd love to have you there. And we would love for you to join us for our free webinar next Thursday night. So, all right. Oh, I got to queue up the spooky music. Where is it? Queuing it up. Queuing it up. Oh, how ghoulish is this? Oh, frightening. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. This is Terry Daniel, voice actor from Minneapolis, voice actor and coach, I should say. And that'll do it for this very brief episode of VoiceOver Sermons. We'll talk to you soon, and always remember to rock the mic.